Hi, and welcome to part four, where we're going to be working on our local Kubernetes cluster. In previous videos, we created our function locally. Uh, we packaged it and tested it into a container. So now we're going to deploy it into our Kubernetes cluster and get it off of our local environment. Uh, we're going to do the deployment manually. Uh, in later videos, I'll show how to do it with a CICD pipeline, with Azure DevOps, or with GitHub Actions. Uh, but today we're going to do it manually because if you can do it manually, you can automate it a lot easier. Uh, so let's get started. The first thing that we have to do is create a namespace for our CADA uh, deployment. CADA stands for Kubernetes Event Driven uh, Architecture uh, or Autoscaler, I'm sorry. And what it does is it basically takes metrics uh, from, let's say, HTTP requests. And based on that, it can scale up your pods or scale them down, even down to zero, which is a really cool feature to have, especially in the cloud, so you could save uh, some costs. Uh, so it's just a scaler for, for your pods. Now that we have uh, the operator and the metrics API server running, uh, we're good to go. So in the past video, we created the container. So now we have to push it up to our registry. Uh, I have my own registry in Azure, uh, in Azure, so it's an Azure Container Registry where I'm going to push the uh, the container. You can also push it to Docker Hub. Uh, it's it's really your choice. Uh, I like to use Azure because I I can uh, put a little more security. Uh, I can control uh, the the authentication to the registry. So I'm using Azure Container Registry, and now that I have my pull command, I can start. Uh, creating the uh, the Kubernetes manifest. So here uh, it's going to be a very simple manifest. Uh, we're going to we're going to get the uh, uh, first. We're going to name it uh, same as our deployment Google Books API. We're going to get our image uh, URL. I'm going to create a, a service endpoint as well. I'm using Metal LB as the load balancer, so we're going to uh, use it uh, to get to it on on port eighty. Uh, um, I'm sorry, import 8081. And now that we have our deployment ready, there's still one step that we have to do. And this is what I wanted to show you. So because I'm using Azure Container Apps, uh, this is not a public registry. So I need to create a secret in order for me to authenticate into that registry. Uh, so it's a very simple command to create the secrets, uh, kubectl create secret and uh, Docker registry to pass uh, your username, password, and um, email. Once you have that, uh, <clears throat> we can add it to our manifest. Uh, the, the parameter is the image pool secret, and uh, you just pass in the, uh, the name of, of the secret that you created previously, and this will authenticate. This will use uh, Docker login uh, command uh, similar to Docker login command where it would pass a username and the uh, the key to connect to your registry. So once you have once you have the uh, the secret there, uh, you can see now that uh, it's configured. The other ones are unchanged because we have deployed it in the past. But if you can see in the past, we had the uh, image pull back off uh, error because we didn't have the secret. Now that we have it and now that we deploy it, things are running. Uh, so you can see here, uh, my pod is running correctly. So now that we're good there, let's get the uh, service endpoint. Uh, this is my internal IP right here. So 198.1.61. Uh, so let me change this because this was pointing back to my container, which was local. Now we are pointing to our Kubernetes cluster and we can get to it just fine. So things are looking really good right now. Uh, now let's just check the logs just to make sure that uh, the function came up and there are there's nothing wrong in there. Uh, so once we do this, uh, we just we're really just going to validate that the function is running. Uh, yeah, so this is a similar view as you've seen before in on your local setup in in the container. So this tells me that the function came up okay. Uh, I have my endpoint uh, to get my books and things are looking good. So great. In the next video, we're going to push the container up to Azure container apps. And then we're going to see how uh, we're going to see it in action in, a, in our Django application. The next video will be the last video. So thank you for sticking uh, with me and uh, following along on this, uh, on this series. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. 
or uh, feel free to uh, ping me in Discord or uh, Slack. All right. Have a good one.